Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can properly reapply thermal paste. If this is something you've never done, it can be a little scary, but as I'll show you, it's actually a very simple procedure and you can easily do it. So this video, guys, it assumes that you're already into your device. You know how to access your heat sink assembly and get to the thermal paste. If you do not and you need help getting inside your computer, leave me a comment with the brand you have and the model and I can help you get inside, access your heat sink assembly, and get at the area where you can reapply thermal paste. But assuming we're there and we're all ready to go, this is how you reapply thermal paste. Okay, so after undoing my heat sink assembly screws and removing my fan, I can take my heat sink assembly up now. You can see the old thermal paste on the CPU as well as the underside of the heat sink assembly. So I'm gonna clean that off before I reapply thermal paste. So to clean off thermal paste, guys, I like using a 70% isopropyl alcohol mixture. Um, I just use a rag and a cloth, and I spray this until I can get it all off. I use that compound because it's an alcohol mix. It'll get the motherboard as least wet as possible, and it dries very, very quickly. Even though it dries quickly, guys, you want to make sure you don't oversaturate your motherboard with it. But some of this old thermal paste, it may be a wicked pain in the butt to take it up. Um, whoever put this thermal paste down, I'm hoping this wasn't factory, but they used way too much thermal paste. Uh, when thermal paste gets too old and when there's too much of it, it could actually have a reverse effect. It could actually lock heat in instead of helping to dissipate it and get it away from the CPU or GPU or whatever it's over. It could actually seal heat in at a certain point. So this is a really good idea to take the old thermal paste off and reapply some nice, clean, fresh stuff. I'm now gonna repeat the process on under here, clean that off too. Okay, so now that you have a clean CPU or GPU or whatever you're working on and a clean heatsink assembly, we'll reapply some thermal paste and nowhere near as much as they had. If this is your first time using thermal paste, guys, feel free to try a test run. Squeeze a little out onto a paper towel so you can see how fast it comes out. You definitely don't wanna to put too much on there. So I'm gonna take my thermal paste, I'm gonna put a little dot here. And a little dot here. And that's all the thermal paste we need to put on there. You don't need to coat that thing. So hopefully that alleviates some anxiety as far as putting thermal paste on. That's all you need to do. So we're gonna come over now, I'm gonna get my heat sink assembly back in here, lay it down nice and flat, give it a good solid push. And now I'm ready to screw the heat sink assembly back on. All right, so that's the procedure. As you can see, it's very doable. It's not impossible. Um, and again, hopefully it alleviated some of your anxiety about getting that far into your computer and doing that kind of procedure. So it is very simple. You can do it. Any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. Um, also, if you wanted any suggestions on kinds of thermal paste, they're not all created equal like everything else. Um, there'll be a link below in the description, also above to my Amazon store. It'll give you some suggestions in the repair tools list um, on various thermal paste that you can use. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.